Hello guys, a lot of things are developing across the globe. And some things we normally talk about because we know they are going to, uh, to affect Africa in a way. Mm -hmm. The British Prime Minister, Rishi Sunak, mm -hmm. said something about transgender which has acted many and has had many celebrating. Mm -hmm. So while addressing the 2023 Conservative Party conference, the, praise, the Prime Minister said this. We are going to change this country and that means life means life. Now that shouldn't be a controversial position. The vast majority of hardworking people agree with it. And it also shouldn't be controversial for parents to know what their children are being taught in school about relationships. Patients should know when hospitals are talking about men or women. And we shouldn't get bullied. And we shouldn't get bullied into believing that people can be any sex they want to be. They can't. A man is a man and a woman is a woman. That's just common sense. So in the world, there's been a lot of things happening with America, supporting transgender, mm. homosexuality, gay rights. And we've seen recently, Museveni, that Uganda passing a bill which restrains an, uh, engagement of gay things in Uganda and being sanctioned for that and he was bar was uh, <coughs> bashed for it mm -hmm. then even some companies in the US stopped importing some things from in their Uganda. Goa agreement yeah. and we celebrated him but we celebrated because this is not in our culture and it's something it's a culture that Foreign culture. we are being pushed on and yeah. at this time in Africa is when most of us are trying to awaken ourselves and know what we are because we, we know what we are because we have been lost in colonization. Mm -hmm. We don't know our culture, we don't know what we are. And even in Swahili they say Mwachamila ni mtuma mtuma that is someone who drops his culture is a slave. That means we have forever been slaves and to wake up from the slumber we need to go back to our culture so that we can stop being the slaves. So Rishi Sunak saying this meant something for Africa because he's giving people the power to say we do not accept it. Because we've seen a lot of leaders in Africa being afraid of the US sanctions, mm -hmm. so we are going to stop us from the, uh, the agreement. Adopting foreign culture just so, to protect. So we are forced to accept. Mm -hmm. Then our children are being indoctrinated mm -hmm. through the media. Yeah. Uh, Netflix education and that. system. Yeah, and the education system. But can we also say that nobody is going to bully us? Exactly. To believe in democracy, their democracy is the way to go. To believe yeah. in their culture is the best culture for because, us. Because in Africa we believe that God, the Most High, our African God, eh, was not stupid when he made a man and a woman. For someone to say that, no, I am a man, but I feel like I'm a woman. So much control, is it? Yeah. So we use common sense, like he's saying. Yeah. And do you know why it's easy for these um, cultures to penetrate our African communities, societies? It's because when you don't know who you are and when you don't understand who you are, it's like a kid without a father. There are aspects of being raised by a father that that kid will never understand. Yeah. You know, how maybe the father has to be you know, manly. you manly, mm -hmm. show you the way in this and the Even if it's a girl, there are aspects that a kid needs to be guided by the father. So cultures like this um, will always be easy on us because we don't have any solid... It's like because we lost our culture. Yeah. Most of us actually lost our culture. Mm -hmm. We don't have a backbone. That's the problem. So that. you can be pulled here, go yeah. there, come so here. So when they tell you this is the way to go, and they give you reasons for it and they, you know, they polish it. It looks like this is actually, this is, you know, something that I can consider. You don't feel like you have anything to lose after all, but there is so much to lose. So they have really, really been able to destroy us, to, to, to just cause chaos in our yeah, countries yeah. because of our lack of identity. And we are inviting every African brother, every African sister, to trace your roots, understand who you are, understand your culture, what is right, what is wrong according to your culture, how did your people live, because we know that this, the only way that was ours was the way our ancestors lived, 
anything after that, anything that was reintroduced to us as the way to do things in Africa is not. It, we it's don't not even need to be associating yeah. with that, you know. Yeah. So yeah, we really need to reevaluate our decisions when it comes to such things. Britain has a strong culture. Yeah. When you yeah, hear yeah. these people saying no to things, it's because they know. Yeah, it's their culture. Yeah, it's their culture. And uh, Rishi Sunak is. India, India. Yes, India. Is, and you know India and culture, Chinese and culture, and that's why Africa is down and the rest of people are up. Yeah. Because we we are slaves, even because we don't know our culture, even our 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 own ancestors see us as those slaves. They don't. Because they don't even recognize who we are. Yeah, and until until we go back to our culture, we will remain slaves. So go back and look for your culture. Don't tell me that your culture is Christianity. No. Go back and look for There's your culture. There's a deeper culture. culture in yeah. yeah. If you are Shona, you know your culture. If you are Zulu, mm -hmm. there is your culture. Yeah. And your culture, mostly, the way you should be living. does not allow this, this thing that we are being brought mm -hmm. and being told you can be anything you want. You cannot be a cow. You are a human being. You cannot be a cow. So, guys... Today, I'm feeling like a cat. <laughs> I'm going to bless our... So, guys... Let us know what you think. If you want to fight, let us go to the comment section. <laughs> Hopefully you won't fight. Hopefully you guys will reevaluate um, yeah. some of the decisions that you make as individuals in your homes, how you raise your kids. Uh, yeah, how you raise important. your kids is very important. Yeah. And if you are, you are someone who's lost in all this, there is always a way to start. Just tell your inner self that you are going to look for your culture. And then delve into finding it from the people who know better. When you give yourself purpose, you will definitely find it. And you will definitely have a better Africa. So, thank you for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Bye.